What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Talisha Shantuan, and I am back with another haul. I know it has been a long time, and I really missed you guys, hopefully as much as y'all missed your girl, but I am back. So if you are a newbie, hey, girl, hey, welcome to my channel. If you are an oldie but goodie, welcome back. I know you guys are all going to love it here. I know y'all have been seeing all over people are doing the denim edition hauls. I have kind of sort of a denim edition with a sprinkle of other stuff. This is going to be like collab haul. It just has like a couple of different brands in it. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. If you are interested in seeing, then make sure you stay Okay, y'all, so I'm going to actually go ahead and jump right into it and start with shoes. I just have a couple of shoes that I want to show you guys that I think will look great with denim. Then from shoes, we'll jump right into the clothes. We don't have a lot to go through today, so we're going to just make it quick and get right to it. So now these first pair of boots are my absolute favorite boots. Oh my God. So I know I've said this in plenty of vlogs before this video that I have been adding red here and there to my wardrobe. I know I got a red bag, so I got a pair of red boots, y'all. These are the boots. Aren't they fly? Oh my God. Just look at them up against my brown skin, y'all. So I got these boots. They are booties. They are by Steve Madden, but I got them from Revolve. And they were actually on clearance or $74. Look at this heel. It's not a very high heel. I believe this is like a three, I think like a 3.9 inch heel. So it's not high. These boots are very comfortable. I do believe this is a... Well, I'm sure this is a faux leather, but it has a pointy toe. And can you just see this with denim? Like, can you just imagine this with this shirt that I have on right here? Like, denim will definitely go with these red boots. So, love these boots. I'm sure that they are still on sale if they still haven't been stocked. But $74, I literally just got these in the mail Sunday, I believe, last Sunday. So a week ago, actually. They should still have some of these on the website. I got them in a size eight and a half. I tend to go up a half a size in boot. They just fit my feet way better than my normal size eight. So I have plenty of room in these. They feel good. I can put on a sock with these and still be very, very comfortable. I am a new fan of Revolve, y'all. I, where have I been? I, I don't know where I've been, but this is my first purchase I ever made off of Revolve and they have a little bit of everything on there. And if you thought like I thought that it was expensive stuff, no. I told y'all I got these boots for $74, okay? So yeah, make sure y'all check out Revolve. But again, these are from Revolve, but by Steve Madden. Okay, so the next pair of boots that I got are by Jeffrey Campbell. And I feel like every fashion girl has seen these boots around. I'm just glad I was in the numbers this time. But these are the Jeffrey Campbell Fitly Heel Booty in Light Blue. This is what they look like. They actually look like a pair of jeans, y'all. So they have up the side, they have like the, where the zipper fly would be and then the button around the waist. But it's actually on the boot, y'all. And it is the light blue denim. The entire booty is denim. Even the heel, I absolutely Love these. Again, I got these in a eight and a half. I paid $178 for them, but I just had to have them. I wanted them, so I got them. I missed them a couple of times because they kept going out of stock, but I ended up getting a notification that they were back in stock, so I went ahead and snatched them up real quick like the heel on these i do believe is the same about a 3.9 they are not high at all these heels actually have cushing in the inside of them so they are extra comfortable already comfortable because the heel wasn't high but extra comfortable because of that extra cushion that's inside i'm here for it i'm here for it. these that means i'm gonna be able to wear these for long periods of time without complaining and yeah like can you imagine let me see 
You can definitely put these on with a Canadian, a Canadian tuxedo, which is a all denim look top and bottom, including your shoes. You can also put these on with a pair of leather leggings and a oversized denim button up. Can you see? I can see it. Can you see it? I can see it. Can you see it? That's, there's so much you can do with these. I love these. I'm so glad that I got these as well. These I got from Revolve too. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I probably did, but got these off of Revolve. I don't want to become addicted to Revolve, but Revolve has a little bit of everything, you guys. Do you hear me? This is my first pair of Jeffrey Campbell boots. I am now a part of the Jeffrey Campbell crew, and I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. Very cute, you guys. Very cute. Okay, so since we're on the denim train, I got a pair of denim pumps. They are the Lou Denim Pump from Schultz. I got these in a size 8. My feet are just so funny when it comes to wearing pumps. I have to put insoles in them because it's like my feet slide forwards, which makes the heel of my foot come out of the shoe, which is so annoying. But if I go to a seven and a half, it's just too tight on my fat feet. I got these. They are a, not necessarily a dark denim, but maybe, a, is it medium wash denim pump? Okay, so I am kind of torn because I'm not sure if I absolutely want these. I think this blue is throwing me off, but then something tells me that I should keep them. Now, this heel is a little bit higher than the booties. This, I believe, is a four and a half inch heel. Um, and y'all know I always tell y'all that I do not do high heels, but I thought these were so cute. I am just not sure... If I'm sold on the color blue this is, I think I like a lighter blue better because I can put it together more with denim. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little bit intimidated by this blue and I'm trying to talk myself out of these shoes. I'm just not sure, y'all. What do y'all think? If you think that I should keep these, put it down in the comments. Let, let me know how y'all feel about this blue. Is Are they a keeper? Do I think I should let it go? Let it go? Let it go? I don't know. These were $103. I'm just not sure. I know that Zara has a light color denim. I think a denim pump that's maybe like this color for $59. And I'm just thinking that maybe I could do something with those better. And they are less expensive than these. But these are just so cute. Like, mm, I don't know. I guess I need to like sleep on it some more and decide what it is I really want to do with these. But I don't know. You guys help me decide and let me know. I, I need to check what my return day is because I'll be done waiting too long and can't return them back. Or, you know, maybe I can just get like some dark denim jeans. I probably could get some dark denim jeans, roll them up at the bottom, throw this, throw these on with it, a cute white shirt, white button up or something. I probably could make these work. Do y'all think I should keep these? I don't know. I might be talking myself back into it. But they are cute. I love them. I'm really into denim right now, y'all. All right, last but not least are these. I don't think I've showed y'all these before. I actually got these from Mr. These are the thigh-high scrunchy boots. They zip up on the inside right here. Even though the heel is high, these are very comfortable boots. Well, they might not be that high. I think the heel probably is that 3.9, it looks like, not even 4. But I absolutely love this. I love the shininess of, of the leather. It is not too shiny that it looks like real quality leather, which of course we know that it is faux leather. I have been wanting these. I only had thigh high boots that were made out of that suede looking material and I just don't want those. To me, I don't know why the ones that I have are all of a sudden now giving cheap and they are not. They are Sam Edelman 
or are they Stuart, Stuart Weissman? They might be Stuart Weissman. I'm not sure. One of those. But, like, they're not cheap. And they just give me cheap. I don't know. I don't know what's up with me. But these right here, I really, really like. And I believe these were, like, a hundred and... $110 from Macy's. I really like these. They go so nice. Can you imagine these with denim jeans? Like skinny denim jeans with maybe a couple of rips in them. Just giving you 90s vibes. Yeah, I can see that with these. Thank you, mister. Love them. Love that. Okay, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into clothes. So I have a couple of tops, bottoms, and then I have some coats. I have one coat in here that is not denim, but I just thought I should include it in this haul. So yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with what I have on right now. So let me go ahead and give y'all the backstory on this top that I have on. It is, actually is a complete set. I first saw this complete set on Aaliyah's face. She did a, I guess, a campaign with this company called Irregular Exposure. It is a black-owned brand, and she did a TikTok. She put on the entire outfit, and I immediately loved it on her. I tried to go get it, and it was sold out. First of all, it was way too expensive. I think for the top and the bottom, I think it was almost $200 a piece. And I was like, mm, no ma'am, no Pam. I saw that after Christmas, they had like this sale where everything on their site was 60% off. I went ahead and jumped on it and I got both the top and the bottoms for $69.65 each. It's still a little bit expensive, but I thought it was cute and I wanted to get it. When I tell y'all this set has so much stretch in it, y'all, I got the top in a size extra large and I got the bottoms in a size extra large. The top, I definitely needed an extra large in. It's still stretchy, but I like the way it fits on me. The bottoms, I got an extra large in. I definitely could have got a large in. But they still look nice on me, but for a little bit of a tighter fit, I could have got a large Large, but it's fine. I'll work with it. The only thing that I'm really not feeling with this set are these long straps that are on the sleeve right here at the wrist. I'm not sure what they're there for. I did see that Aaliyah Face cut hers off, which is what I think I'm going to do. I just, I don't feel like they are necessary and they just don't do anything for the fit. So I'm going to take them off and still enjoy and rock the fit like it's supposed to be. The sleeves right here have ruching, which gives like some zhuzh, some detailing to the sleeves. So this is not just your typical top. It can be a top. It can be a jacket because you do have the option. They have functional buttons so you can open it and close it and wear it how you want. I like the cut of the jacket. It goes up on your waist and comes down to like a V point down at the bottom of your belly. This gives you the curves. If you don't have the curves, it gives you the curves that you are missing. This is a thick denim material. You are not going to be cold. I want to tell you I am warm right now. Your girl is warm. Also, it comes with the matching pants. These are the matching pants. They do have holes and cut-ups and rips in them. They are a ballooned tight pair of pants at the bottom, but they have a cinched in cuff, which helps with giving that balloon look. How it's fitted up here on the top and then ballooned out on the bottom, which also gives you a nice figure eight silhouette. One of my favorite parts about these pants is the fact that there is this elastic around the waist that helps with keeping that part that sticks out right there on the, the lower part of your back. This scrunchy part right here is going to keep that from happening. Right here, as you can see on the sides of the pants, there are slits, but it is a finished hem on the short part of the pants. So it looks like shorts, like regular shorts, and then there's a slit right here to connect it. The good thing with a Canadian tuxedo, you can split the pieces apart and wear them separately. I can wear this top with some black leather pants. I can wear the bottoms with a different top and have multiple outfits instead of just one. 
love that. Okay. Irregular exposure. If you guys have heard of it, definitely go and check it out. They do have an Instagram page and they also have a website. Definitely go and check them out, you guys. It is a black owned business. We have to support each other. Okay. All right. The next piece is going to be a pair of jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova was actually having a buy one get one free off denim and I had to jump on that okay but I will say that Fashion Nova jeans used to hit and they all used to have stretch in them now not so much I'm not sure what's up with that I don't know what changed a lot of their jeans just don't have stretch like they used to and that is a bit annoying so I got these right here these are the Lily high rise cargo jeans in the color green if you are on Instagram you have seen the girls with these pants on because the review said that they didn't have any stretch I knew I was gonna have to get a size 15 in them I'm glad I I got that because sheesh, I did pay $39.95 for these pants and then got a second pair for free. These are great quality. The denim is heavy. They look good on. Only complaint is that waistline don't have any give, okay? So you can't eat. Like if I ate anything before I recorded this video, I would not been able to zip and button those pants up. They are the perfect length. Y'all remember when Fashion Nova used to make their pants so long that the regular girls couldn't get them? Well, these are the perfect length. They hit just right above the floor, which is perfect. To me, I don't have to take them and go get them hemmed or anything. Because, you know, hemming, although some clothes do need to be tailored, tailoring is expensive. And when you buy clothes that are not that expensive, the tailoring will end up costing just as much, if not more, than the pants or the piece that you have. With these pants, you don't have to do that. I am 5'5". Five five, and I do not need to go get these tailored. So the second pair of pants that I ended up getting were these right here. These are the Girl Crush 90s Dad Jeans. Absolutely love these. Love that the buttons on the front of these are hidden by the fly. They're not exposed buttons. They have little to no stretch in them y'all. I got a size 15 in these as well so they fit very nice but that wings y'all. She is taut okay. She's taut but she works. So you know you're, and your girl be going to the gym. So if I keep up with going to the gym and not eating all crazy then they'll fit even better eventually. Prayers up okay. Love these. These are the free pair that I got. They do have some distress thing right here on the front of the thigh of the jeans, but not too much that it just doesn't look good. It's like the perfect amount of distressing. I like these. They are a wide leg, which will look really good with boots and pumps. Even like those barely there type heels, you could definitely pull these off. You can even pull these off with sneakers, okay? Definitely got those. Thank you, Fashion Nova. Then your girl went on over to Tarjay. I saw a couple of people on Instagram who posted these. I think her name is Fashion Sherlock. I think that's right. I feel like that's right. She posted this denim button up and your girl got right in her car, went right over to Target and was on the hunt for this shirt. And I luckily I found when I tell y'all this is the best quality denim that I have ever seen in Target. This shirt right here is so thick. It feels like jeans y'all. It's heavy. It has a unfinished hem down here at the bottom. And I just love how oversized it looks. Definitely can see this with a pair of leather pants and oh, those Jeffrey Campbells. Hey, hey, hey. Definitely would look good. Do y'all see it? Heck yeah. And, and guys, when you wear denim, your denim necessarily does not have to be the same denim for it to flow. Okay. These will look so good 
with this shirt and this is from the brand wild fable which really is why i think i'm tripping that it is such good quality i got this in a size large this shirt was 36 dollars now that price that 36 dollars is what lets me know again that this is good quality denim if y'all can find this definitely cop this like i said if i can find the links for these they will be link down below in the description box so don't skip past the description box people so this is my last denim piece and my absolute fave denim piece i got the jamaican sasha is her instagram name and she has a site called the vault by sasha where she sells all kinds of pieces well she had this denim jacket on there and if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you already should, then you've already seen me wear this denim jacket. I actually wore it out on a date night with Mr. Freaking loved it. It was the coup de grace to my outfit and it hit. I got so many compliments off this denim jacket, you guys and love i got this denim jacket in a size large it is a little bit oversized but it still looks really good which most trench coats are made to be oversized so it's fine that it is oversized because it still looks good and you can still put thicker things underneath but when i say i love this this is the perfect medium wash trench coat love it love these oversized lapels that go over the shoulders and then it has the lapel right here in the front of it it does have the cape or wing i'm not sure what you call this on the back of it it does have a belted tie that you can cinch the waist in or you could tie it to the back and also cinch the waist in it is perfect i do believe i paid like 170 dollars for this coat definitely had to have it stayed sold out y'all stayed sold out on this website i feel like she posted it for the first time at the beginning of fall last year and it sold out like that and then i commented under the picture of this coat i don't know maybe in like october november ish i commented and asked her was she gonna restock it and she replied back and said that she would and she did she actually restocked it i want to say a little after christmas beginning of january something like that i jumped on it immediately as soon as i seen it i wanted to get it it looks so good with those red booties that i have it would even look really good with those jeffrey campbell's you guys it would even look good with those black boots when i tell you this coat right here is a must in your wardrobe and it's going to be there for years to come it's not going to go out of style have y'all seen how long london fall trench coats have been around yeah they don't go anywhere so this denim one right here is not going to go anywhere it is definitely worth the coin and if you guys can get it make sure you get it head on over to jamaican sasha's instagram page and then click on the link to her website it is black owned we love that i just checked i want to say two days ago and it was still in stock so run over there right now see if she still has it put it in your cart and go ahead and get that thing yeah you heard it here and last but not least is this this coat right here it gives me the vibe of chinchilla kind of definitely not chinchilla got this from pretty little thing i actually wanted this because y'all know that i got those well youtube may not know but instagram knows that i got the it's like black pony hair and silver or gray jordan ones so i wanted to wear those jordan ones with something i haven't quite figured out what the fit would be exactly but i wanted this coat to be because i just think these colors go it comes down to about my calves it's heavy it's warm and i know that it's we're just two shakes of a feather from it being spring but i just wanted to go ahead and get it hopefully we still have a couple more cold days left that i'll be able to wear this fit and i can show you guys exactly what it looks like but it's probably going to be on my instagram so make sure you guys follow me so y'all can see when i style those jordan ones up together with this coat it does have a oversized feel to it um i did get this in a size well definitely a nice coat it almost kind of gives you like that rich 
bitch like almost kind of like that Pope Frank Lucas wore to the fight. It's, this is what that's giving me y'all and I can't wait to wear it. This is like the you know the less expensive version of the Frank Lucas coat. Okay, and I mean all I'm missing is like the little fur hat that goes on top of my head with it. I am so glad I was able to find this. I just happened to be scrolling on Instagram and it came up. And so yes, you guys, that is everything that I got for my denim edition haul. If you see anything that you like, again, I will try to make sure that I post those links down in the description box if they are still in stock. Definitely been getting some really good stuff lately and I just could not wait to share it with you guys because I love y'all. Love y'all for real. Yeah, y'all my people. So who better to share it with than y'all? You know, I think we should all be out here fly together. Don't you think? But anyway, that is enough of me talking. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with your girl. Y'all already know. Yo, we have so much more to do. It's about to be spring, so y'all know that Zara's about to be dropping a whole bunch of stuff. And all these other stores are about to be dropping the fits left and right. So your girl is going to be bringing whatever I find to you guys to share. And I can't wait. I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Bring them over for good vibes. And that rhymed a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> All right, y'all. I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time. Bye.